Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file and they want to know the easiest way or the best way to put these zodiac signs in which aren't very, very good, but that's not my call, into these spots equally. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to nudge this thing out of the way and then I'm going to find out what this circle is and it's 192 millimeters, which I don't normally work with millimeters, but we'll go 192 and put P, put it in the center of the page. We'll take this second one and it's 165. I'm going to make it 165 if, if he needs it differently. Then you can control D and make a duplicate and make that one 165. I got my ratio locked so they're equal. Now what we need to do is find out the middle and you could do it by math, but you could also select it all. We need to know what the middle is. I'm gonna to go to effects and blend and we're gonna blend one time. And that put a line right in the middle between those other two lines. I'm gonna to go to object and break the blend apart. Now there's uh, 12 of these. So we're going to take a two-point line, holding down the control button, and I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. And 12 divided by 360 is uh, 30 degrees. So we're going to control D and make a duplicate and rotate it 30 degrees. Control D, control D, control D, control D. So now we did it six times, but we got um, the right amount of uh, lines. You could do several things at this time. You could do it before or after. I would go and take the virtual segment delete key and delete these interior lines. Go ahead and delete these outterior, out, uh, outside lines, just to kind of give it some depth so you can kind of say what you're doing. And then I'm going to, because I nudged, I can nudge this guy just back over and you you could probably do this mathematically, but there's there's gonna be a tangent on this line. So we ought to be able to just snap to that midpoint. But it's not really good because the the graphic is uh can't even tell what that is. So what I'm gonna do is suggest is to take this grab it, hold down the shift key and double click on your rectangle tool. That gives us a bounding box that's gonna be more square. And now we should uh, be able to snap right to the midpoint. I didn't grab it all. Let's, let's go ahead and group this together for just a second. Control G, let's turn off our guidelines and let's grab that and go right to the midpoint. And now we can grab that and ungroup it and take away that box. And then just do that to everything. You know, some of them might work better than the other ones, but I think the bounding box is gonna help. So select it, double click on your uh, rectangle tool, uh, control G to group it together. The, the um, see there's an edge and then right well maybe it's not going to give me a midpoint so what we could also do for this exercise is draw another two point line i'm going to make it red i'm going to hit center of the page and i'm going to rotate it 15 degrees And then I'm going to control D, rotate it 30. And what that's doing, it's putting us, and I could have done this at the very start. Now it makes more sense to maybe have done it all at the same time. Now you're going to have a, a marker for that box to go, you're going to have an intersection. So we're going to move it to that intersection. Now, that doesn't look right because it's not going to work. So some of this stuff you're going to have to just, we're going to go to effects and ungroup that box. 
so the box idea isn't going to work. But what I would do is grab, well, maybe, maybe the box was hurting us. So now I'm going to be right on that node. So that's good. Then just take the other one, nudge it over. And that way, one, you know you're in the right order. So this time, let's try it without the box. Got that intersection. And just continue. You don't have to nudge it over. You could just go like that and very easily move it over to that intersection. Now, it moved once I moved it. But there's the intersection of those lines. I'm going to go and do a few more. Intersection. Intersection. And see, that one might not work. You're going to have to visually, maybe I, maybe I was on the other intersection. There it is. Some of them are a little bit. So just do that all the way around. And then just do the same thing. And if we would have done all the lines at one time, it would have worked out better. But what you can do now is take this line and delete it. And that way you get rid of those intersecting lines and not the uh, other lines. So maybe this did work out better this time to have two sets of lines because you wouldn't want to delete those other lines. And then after you're done, because we ungrouped this, we can just take away that line. And now your graphic should be in the center. See, like that one, a little bit too close to the edge, you're just gonna have to visually look at it. Each one of them is gonna be a little bit different. I hope it helps him a little bit. Thank you for watching.